He knows that the pressure's on Hinkson Little with one false start. He needs as many points as he can get to give him confidence and a good base in which to go to the second discipline, the long jump. is away well, Hinkson not too badly away and Bent's in the middle but Thompson coming away now on the near side and he's holding up at the moment and Nicklaus on the far side, Thompson leading by a long margin, Nicklaus in second, third on this side Kratzmer, 10.62 and that's uh, a good start for Daly, his best is 10.50, that was the Edmonton run in 1978 but 10.62 if that's confirmed gives him 900 points. He got away very well. Look at the use of arms. Good driving from the from the knees, and he's sprinting well. He's already away from the big uh, West German on his left, and uh, Kratzmer left in his wake on the right. The only man to challenge is Niklaus of uh, Sw the Switzerland on the far side, who is a sprinter, and Kratzmer in third on this side. But the important thing is that Daly has notched up a fine start. Very good jump indeed. And this is where he puts himself under pressure, but 105% is all you'd ask for him. That's a fine jump. Red flag. Oh, the last thing in the world he wanted was a red flag. Because had it been a very good jump, he may have settled for one rather than put that groin strain under injury. He really does come hurtling in. There's no compromise about this fella at all. And what a pity. Sinks, and yes, he's over. And look at the height that he climbs. Feet hit the sand at about 7.75. But he has to... Uh, he's got two more jumps, and he puts himself under even more pressure. The long jump is one of the events he wanted to avoid as much as possible because it, uh, that's aggravating that groin strain. But he must get one in this time or he puts himself under a great deal of pressure and that's better that's better white flag and relief in the British camp and relief in his mind I'm sure he's seen uh, Hinkson his main rival with 7 meters 75 but this is uh, great piece of composed long jumping sinking reaching for that board and he was good on the board that's a fine jump he doesn't want to give an inch to Hinkson and he's smiling for the first time this morning 788 for Daly Thompson 996 points what a response he has achieved more than that in training but whether he can put it into the context of a decathlon now we shall see Hinkson can throw just over 16 meters and uh, if that were to occur 16 and let's say 15 40 for Daly then we'd have a difference of about 37 points and so Daly would still be well ahead after this discipline first put oh yes that's an enormous put for Daly very very competent piece of putting indeed and the great competitor has really shown much bigger men how to throw the shot very low at the back of the circle keeps the left arm down then lifts and that is as good as uh, Daly Thompson has been for some time. 15.35, and that will do. Now, can he build on it with two more throws? So, a very confident Olympic, European and Commonwealth champion at the moment. No, it's not as far. It's about, uh, it's just under 15, and in fact, he stepped on the stop board to uh, save the judge's marking. So, 15.35, 809 points. He will stand at uh, the end of the third discipline, but he still has to wait and see. Tempting. Hinkson coming in at alternate heights. I wonder how off-putting that slip of Daley Thompson's was. Oh, good. Oh, good. Two, three. Big smile, it's back again. Time trial, really, for Daly Thompson. A captain of the Soviet Union on the inside. 
then Wentz of the Federal Republic of Germany in lane two. Jürgen Hingsen, the world record holder from Germany in three. Stefan Niklaus of Switzerland in lane four. Daley Thompson in lane five. Uwe Freemuth of the German Democratic Republic in lane six. And Guido Kratschmer, former world record holder at this uh, decathlon, in lane seven. Well, Daley, very keen indeed to do a good time here. He's first, his score, 3,593. He does best time, 46.86 last year, but he has this year only achieved 48.73. So that will be at the back of his mind, and he will be looking for something better than that, I fancy. I'm just looking, the flags are still blowing fairly strongly, but the wind seems to be changeable. Jürgen Hingson must be thinking that uh, you know things have gone wrong for him they started to go wrong in the shot and uh, then they continued in the high jump and as Ron Pickering was saying it really was a disaster only to achieve uh, two meters when he really is a two meter 15 jumper and the conditions weren't that bad either and if anybody was going to achieve a, a considerable height then Hinkson was but Hinkson has the advantage of the inside of Daly Thompson but that will act on Daly Thompson as a spur and he will be out very quickly over the first 200 metres, I'm sure. outside him and he's going for a very fast first 200 meters and Hinkson making no impression at all on him at the moment. Kratzmer on the outside is Thompson's target now and he's already overtaken him on the stagger. Hinkson's up there and so is Vents on the inside and at Kapkin. Thompson storming through 200 meters and now it's all about the clock. The time we must get somewhere in the region of 47 seconds for him to be in with the good score. Bents and Hingson in his wake. Thompson now driving hard, but they're catching him. And he's tying up as they come to the line. And it's Nicklaus who's coming through. Thompson, Nicklaus and Hingson. And Thompson, Hingson, Bents and Nicklaus in a line. The time 48.08. And that will be disappointing for Daly. He wanted something faster. And really, his fitness over that last 50 metres or so, Ron, came into question. Well, I've got to say, Stuart, I was worried about it from 200 metres. He obviously isn't feeling confident. He had real trouble struggling up the home straight. I still think that he may have done enough, but that gives him a first day total of 4.487 or thereabouts. But to be caught...